Hi, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. I figured I've got enough time to do one more haul tonight before the family gets home, I hope. So I'm going to take advantage of that because I don't know when I'll get my next chance. And I've got some cool stuff. You have to pardon my nose. I think I'm starting to get a little bit of a cold. So my nose is starting to get stuffed up. And now I'm like, feel like Rudolph and it's getting worse as I touch it. It's like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but this is a Timu haul. Um, Timu is an online marketplace. I compare it to Amazon, only a lot cheaper but you can find anything on here except maybe food um, and they've got so many sellers that the prices are competitive within the sellers and they offer um, in the first 30 days they offer a um, price adjustment if the price goes down um, after you buy it so you don't have any of that um, regret <laughs> and then you can return items for 90 days um, if you've never downloaded the app before, um, check out the description below. I've got a link to the app. I've also got a promo code for it will get you 50% off your first order and a $100 bundle of coupons. Um, if you are a regular Timur, Timur, Timu person um, and play any of the games, I've got my Fishland and Farmland codes down below. And I've also got a link to the product list. I do mine in Google because I can't get, um, I can't share things out of Timu correctly because it doesn't always give the link. And I'm so glad to hear that's not just me. I really thought I was doing something wrong, but I've been hearing other people say they couldn't do that either. But anyway, um, because I'm filming this right after I filmed my last one, um, on Wednesday evening, I haven't fixed any of my lighting issue, but I'm I left it turned down a little bit so it's not quite as bright. So hopefully that will work. And I think the problem I had on my last one is my daughter had a a um, school call in the middle of my when I was filming last time, and apparently that's just too much bandwidth for um, for our house at one time. It's not. I mean. We're, we're always, all of us are on multiple things at once, it seems like. So, I don't know. It was just acting goofy. And it may act goofy during this one, too. But I really hope not. Because it's super, it's way easier to upload a YouTube video straight to YouTube than having to put it in something and piece things together. But we'll see. That's enough complaining for now. <laughs> so, I've got all the prices of everything written down. Um, I'm... I'm kind of protesting the fact that Timu isn't using their orange bags anymore. Um, so I'm just leaving the bag down here on the floor because don't need to see that. And it's nothing special anymore. Um, and I did get some refunds. I'll tell you what they were. Um, and I think I probably got more refunds than, than I've got listed on here, but it's kind of hard to track those. If you get multiple items in a refund, um, it's hard to tell. And if you don't know how to get your refunds, they don't just give them to you. You have to ask for You have to request them. I have a, um, a post in my community page that has screenshots that can explain it. And on my last video, I, as well as I could, I showed on my phone, although I had to hold it kind of sideways because the lighting is bad. Um, and I know how to put together that kind of a video or a slideshow or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I might do that at some point, but I, I don't need to do it now. So, um, anyway, let's get started. Do I have any updates? It's only been like 15 minutes. I took, um, I took the bag of stuff from my last haul upstairs and emptied it out and the cat immediately <laughs> got inside and decided that was going to be its home for a while. So that's one good thing, I guess, about the bags, no matter what color they are. All right, so let me get situated. Ooh, sorry, I can't put my knees under this table, um, which is kind of bugging me, but I'll get used to it. All right, so first, um, let's just grab something. Ah, all right, so we've had one of these on this channel before. <coughs> 
excuse me, it's a stool, a folding extension stool. Mine doesn't look like this, but I'll show you what it is. I've had, I think I already said, I've had this on here before. I have the rainbow or I've been getting the rainbow one and the last one was red, this one's orange. And this is the one that my husband put together for me so that um, I could show you what it looks like all um, put together. Although it's, it's overlapped right here. So there would be one more layer. So you, it's got these holes on both sides. And so you would stick your fingers in it. And then when it's, when it's, um, not out when it's condensed, what am I trying to say? Well, you know what I'm trying to say, but when it comes, it comes all, um, not, not like this. So you turn both sides opposite of each other to pull it out, but it's hard to do. I can't do it very well. So if you, I said this on the other one, if you don't have someone that can help you put this together, this may not be a good purchase for you. But if you're going somewhere like ball games or something for your kids where you need something to sit out, this takes up way less space in the trunk of your car than a folding chair would, although it's definitely not as comfortable as that. Um, but this is a great like sit upon for Girl Scouts. Um, but again, it takes a little bit of muscle and maybe that gets easier um, the more you use it. But when you're pulling it apart, you're trying to make sure to get these little hooks into these slots, which is why you have to twist it. And that's what keeps it in place. And so it's very sturdy once it's um, put up. We've been using this up in the living room a lot, but I don't know if I'll get the rest of the colors of the rainbow because they are expensive. They're, this was 1607, but I really, it take because it takes up so much less space in the vehicle, you can always have it with you. So if you're ever in need of a stool um, and, you know, changing a tire, it's kind of a pain to have to get on the ground. So maybe you only put it, you know, one color layer up so that you're not having to sit on the ground. But and for those of us that have bad knees, it's easier to get back up. But yeah, I really liked really like these. And then this ends up being a little handle. All right, next we have a box, kind of crumpled. It's Timu, so everything comes crumpled because it's very rare to get your stuff in a box. It's almost always a bag that's taped to high heaven. And then when you're cutting open the bag, you're always afraid you're going to cut one of the products. And sometimes the products are taped to the tape. All right. I think this is the purse. <laughs> Another purse. I've been getting these fun kind of retro style purses and not, well, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> this is the boombox purse. So it is a, it came in a duster. It's got a little um, thing on the handle. But it's just, it's, it's like faux leather on here. Just made to look like a boombox, obviously. It's got a spot for straps, which are presumably going to be on the inside of this, but this is definitely square, very sturdy, good corners, metal. These, I think the corners feel like they're metal, coated metal. All right, so then inside, oh, I don't want to use that finger, flips up. All right, so then we've got the strap pretty matches and it's thin, which is why it makes sense why this is so small. And then the inside is literally just, um, there's no pockets, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And then this is kind of, this is kind of flimsy, but probably makes it fold, fold well, but it does, um, there's a little gap down here, so things could fall out if you're not careful and it's on both sides. 
and then so yeah so then you just put your straps on and if you're like me and you collect straps because <laughs> you like to change them out maybe you have other straps you'd like to use with your purse but i like this one that came with it because this is in my black and pink theme that i really like and it would look weird to me it would look weird to have some patterned strap for this but yeah so there's that and this was 10.78 is what I paid and I got 70 cents back but yeah it's I'm trying to see if you can see the texture I don't think I, I don't think I'm getting close enough or not close enough but I just don't think oh maybe so you can kind of see it a little bit all right but yeah I think that's really cute and I will say with all the purses that I've gotten off of Timu I get compliments on my um the one that looks like a camera all the time and it's classical like black and ivory colors so it goes with a lot of things so it, it ends up being one that I use a lot and it's about this big so it's just big enough but yeah I get compliments on that thing all the time all right next okay well this is getting a little wild for me this is a dress well it's a dress and a jacket it's definitely polyester I sound like a broken record you all know it's polyester but I feel like I have to tell you that every time so this is the jacket so it's kind of a cropped length jacket but it's got the orange trim and this is so <laughs> Halloween colors yes but I thought it looked really pretty in the um on the model in the picture so you've got that and you know the orange trim everywhere even on the sleeves and then and this came in green too which I could have gotten that to go with my green shoes that I'm that I repurchased but it is the dress looks like this so I of course will have to wear the <laughs> the jacket but but for those of you that don't mind going out um, sleeveless goes like that but it's this reminds me of the 70s kind of you know um I just like bold things like this with black so I'm looking forward to trying this um to trying this but this let me see if I can find tell you what the wash and care instructions are all right, so I get this in a 2X. I, I forget to tell you guys that, but I um, get this stuff in a 2X, and that is equivalent to a 16 in the United States. This is 95% polyester, 5% spandex, uh, machine wash cold, tumble dry low, so perfect. So yeah, so... So then, of course, when I got this, because I got the orange instead of the black. Now, I've got I've got a pair of black and white sandals I showed on an earlier haul that would go with this. And, of course, I've got tons of, well, I've got black shoes that would go with this. But then I was like, should I get orange shoes? <laughs> should I get an orange purse? So, yeah. But, yeah, I, I mean, in this, I don't know. I just, it seems so vibrant that I just had to get it. So did I tell you what that cost? Where is that on my list? I think I did, but it was $15.99 if I didn't. All right. So now I need, I need my helpers for this one. Okay. Well, maybe I'll hold off on that. Next. 
this is a reorder because when I ordered this the first time, it was missing from my order. And I don't know if that's because they just forgot to put it in or if it was because it fell out of the hole that was in the bag. But this is one of those beauty um, skin washing brushes. And this is super soft, super soft. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit coarser, but it's nice. And then this side has got silicone. This side is hard for me to use with my delicate skin. Um, but I'm looking forward to using this side. Yeah, so I haven't I haven't used very or bought very much Timu makeup, but I do have some coming. But I have been really struggling with what to, um, well, okay, let me take that back. I did buy that whole Japanese skincare set from Timu and it's okay, but it's not great, but it's, you know, probably as good as what I paid for. Um, but I'm like, I'm getting older. I'm 47. I have super sensitive skin. I have rosacea. I have psoriasis and I was complaining or, you know, mentioning on another haul about how I just can't get the foundation to stay on very well. And so someone reminded me that, you know, well, use a primer, you know, before you put that on. So I did that on Sunday, I think. Maybe it was Monday. And, and then put the foundation on. And, oh, it was horrible. Um, and it wasn't a Timu primer. And it wasn't Timu... None of it was Timu, um, so I'm not trying to diss, diss them there, but it felt like, you know, like on some of those scary movies where people scratch their face off. That's what it felt like all day. Like I was, my, it was irritating my face. I was like scratching and so then there was all this stuff under my fingernails. It was almost like the primer went on and then prohibited the foundation from sticking at all. I mean, it was, ugh. So I'm not, you know, that doesn't seem to work for me or else I had a bad primer. It was a common brand, like a, something you could get, well, not high quality, but something you could get at Walmart. I can't remember what it was called now. But, um, so yeah, so I'm still looking for that. I want my, I want my skin, like I like the skin on my hands, but look at that. I always call myself beat face because because it's so red and I just can't find things to make it calm and I'm trying to do that red light therapy mask but I don't know how long you have to do that before you start to see a change so okay so here I've I've droned on and on but this was a dollar 27 oh hang on I don't want to do that yet all right okay so th this next one is a phone case They have a ton of phone cases on Timu. Some of them are, you know, high quality, um, comparable to OtterBox, and some of them are just, you know, basic covers. Um, so I got this one because this was one that my daughter had requested. And so, so I knew that I was getting this in the mail, and we were eating out over the weekend and I'm looking at her phone and she's got one of these on her phone. And I'm like, did you get into my stuff? You know, because I already had it, but I hadn't, you know, it's like it was in the box of stuff that still needed to be processed. And I'm like, did you get into my stuff? She's like, no, why? I'm like, I bought you one of those because you asked me to buy you one. And you're always saying I don't ever get you anything on Timu. She's like, well, I didn't know you were going to get it. So I just went ahead and got it myself. And I'm like you're never supposed to go and buy stuff for yourself that you've asked for, for from somebody else. So now my, a different daughter is getting this gifted to her, but it's a cute, they have, I mean, they have a lot of cute cases on there. Um, but this one's affirmations for anxiety. So I'll just read a couple of them. Tomorrow's a new day. I feel grounded in the, in this moment. I have the tools I need. So I've talked about this before on this channel. We try to be very mentally, mental health conscious in this family. Um, there's a lot more 
things that kids are dealing with than what we did when we were kids. Um, so yeah, so this is cute. I will smile, breathe, and go slowly. And it's a little turtle. So this was $1.89. So they're all, they're very good priced. And then I got 10 cents back and I got this for an iPhone 13, but they have it, they have these for all different kinds of iPhones, Androids, everything. So yeah, so it's cute. All right, next. Okay, this I was super excited about um, in this nondescript little box. But these are, what did I call them, battery converters? I don't know if that's really right. Ugh. I need to get, I need to, I need to just buy another box cutter. So these are, um, does it say, yeah, well, it calls them converters. So you, so here's a D size battery case. Is this the same size? I think those are the same size. So I guess I'm, I got two D's and then this one is a C and does it, do they say that on here somewhere? No. Oh yeah, it does. So this is saying you put two double A's will get you a C. Now I did bring some batteries down here, but I only brought triple A. So, okay, so it, oop, so it gave me two Ds, a C. So the C, oh, I already said that, takes um, just one double A. The Ds, um, they just take one double A too? Let's see, can I get this open safely? Okay, so this one opens different than the C open like this, but the D opens like this. And it looks like maybe there's space for two double A's in there since it's got two up here. But this is great. I, I got these because it's very rare really that you need a D or a C, but you don't want to go have to go buy these because these aren't very cheap probably because they're not used very often. But then I also got um, three, three of these. So this was a six, excuse me. This was a six piece set. So three double A's. So this takes a triple A to make a double A and then the C and then the two D's. It's kind of odd to me that they gave me two D's instead of, um, two C's. I feel like C's are used more often, but maybe that's not true. So anyway, this one opens like this and I do have, I thought I'd start keeping some batteries down here so that we could try things out. And I've also got a USB port plugged in now in this area, but so let's see. looking to see if it tells me which side goes which way but both sides well wait a second both sides look exactly the same is that right no I picked up the wrong pieces to go together all right so one side looks like that and one side looks like that I didn't realize more of them were broken apart so I guess I got four of these so I apologize this is seven piece set so you stick your AAA battery in there, snap it together, and there you've got a AA battery. And I don't have anything to test this on, but that's how it works. And I get my batteries from Amazon. Not that you care where I get my batteries from. But anyway, there's that. So I thought this was super cool because you know how you get stuff for Christmas or birthdays or whatever, and 
need need like weird size batteries it's like why isn't it maybe it is in other countries but why is it that there's not some sort of um standard like all toys can only take two double a's not 17. okay i can't get all of these back in the box go figure all right that did i say okay that was 331 for that set okay so i mentioned this on the last haul This is the um, display or holder for the um, post earrings. So you can see each one of these has four, enough for four. So this is way more than I need because I posts really aren't my favorite, although I'm wearing posts at the moment. But, um, okay, good. That's just fuzz, not a bug. <laughs> But yeah, so I'll hang this up on my jewelry wall. Um, and, oh, so this is nice. So I was saying how I wasn't sure I was going to use this or want to use it because that seemed like a pain to, to plug them in, so to speak. But these lift up so you can easily add the back to them. So yeah, so that was... 367 and I got two dollars and ten cents back on that so that's crazy all right I'm gonna need to take a drink soon I'm getting my throat's getting dry so let me do that let me do that real quick okay next is some kicks So I don't think I bought any black tennis shoes yet from Timu, but these are kind of um, like Converse style, but they were really cute. They had a sunflower and some kind of signature, I guess. Now they do have ones that actually do look like Converse and have the, um, the logo, the fashion probably logo, but on the inside, I showed my daughter, one of my daughters has a pair of Converse and I was showing her these and she was like, no, oh, no, that's not okay. <laughs> so I'm going to have to make sure I wear these when she's wearing hers so that people can see how much cooler mine look. So yeah, and they've got a great, um, a great sole. I get my tennis shoes. Oh. This is a 40, so maybe I got this an eight and a half. Does it say? Oh, well, it doesn't say on the inside because it just said there on the outside. So yeah, I usually get my tennis shoes in um, eights, but I think maybe I was thinking these might be a little bit more restrictive because of the toe, so I may have gotten these at, it's a 40, whatever 40 translates to. But yeah, so these are cute. It has the design on, on both both sides and these they have these not with this design but they have this style in lots of different colors and some high top ones so there's that and these were 987 all right get into a lot of little things okay so I found my helpers for this thing that I was wanting to show you so I got this this is to hold belts in your closet so it comes you've got to put it to uh, you got to put it together son of a gun <laughs> okay see it's got <laughs> this which has to squeeze into this tiny little space so well let's just pretend i got that connected i usually have to give these to my husband to put together i'm always afraid of cracking it on screen and if i'm gonna break it i guess i'm hoping that you don't watch me <laughs> but i got these 
this for my purse straps because I've gotten enough purse straps that I needed something to hang them on. So how cool is that? And because these are so small, you technically could put more than one on a spot. And I most likely have enough to fill all of these spots at least once. So yeah, so I've been trying to figure out what to do with all of these. Like, because right now, right now I just kind of have them in a pile in a box and then I just pick one out when I want to use it. But, but yeah, I saw this and I was like, that'd be perfect. So this was $1.22. All right. I think the rest of the things in here may all go together. So let me get them all out. Oh no, I got one thing that's separate. Okay, I think that's it for that. All right, so the next thing is a snail. It reminds me of a snail. So this is part of those products like the rollers and the other things that you use on your face. But this one is shaped like this because the idea is you can go in like this and do some massage in this area. So a lot of times when I get headaches, you know, you're pinching your, um, the bridge of your nose. So this is good, especially, and too, if you have like a sinus infection, but then it's also got these knobs to rub around everywhere or this flat side. And you could put this in, you know, your fridge or your, probably not your freezer, but, um, to make it cold when you use it. But um, I hadn't seen one like like this shape before, so when I saw it, I was like, oh, that looks like that'd be good, because I do get a lot of headaches like right in there. But this was $1.57. All right. Um, before I get to this stuff that all goes together, let me do this item that I had sitting out. So this is a shoe rack. So you can see it over here. I am not taking this out and attempting to put this together on camera, but it looks like it's got four shelves and in the picture they've got, it looks like two pairs of shoes on each shelf, which would give you eight. But a lot of these shoes that I've been, I bought it for the shoes I've been buying from Timu. A lot of them are those are tennis shoes. I mean, they're not this style, but they're tennis shoes that you can just put, you know, like this on there. So I could fit definitely more than two, maybe even four pairs on each. So that could be up to 16 pairs of shoes, which unfortunately I'm getting close to because I keep buying the, I keep buying the other style of Timu tennis shoe because it's so comfortable. Oh, I didn't. I'll go back to that in a second. But anyway, assembly required, but it shouldn't be too hard. But I'll have my husband help me. So then I'm hoping to put this underneath my, on my jewelry wall underneath it because it doesn't stick out very far. The problem in our bedroom is that we have a king size bed. And so therefore it's not uh, we don't have enough space on both sides of the bed to have actual dressers. So we've got, like my husband has a bookshelf that my dad made on his side, which is about, I know this doesn't mean anything, it's like eight or nine inches deep. And then I've got one of those ladder style bookshelves and the, the bottom shelf is maybe 12 inches. So that's also why I'm building my jewelry wall because I can't put a dresser well, we have one dresser in the bedroom that has actual clothes in it, but I, I can't, I don't have any place that I could put like one of those jewelry wardrobes or whatever. So I'm just sticking it on the wall because I can't put any furniture on the wall anyway. So I might as well use it for something. Although I could put some diamond. Oh, speaking. Oh, okay. I keep getting distracted. I'm going to show you some diamond paintings before we, before we end. But 
let me go back to this. I'm getting, I'm starting to get all over the place, but the, the sole of this doesn't feel as soft as some of, as cushy as some of them, but there is cush in here, but, um, the heel is not as cushy as higher up. All right. So the shoe rack was 647. Okay. So now this la the, these last things all go together, but there's four different things. Um, so we've seen me get extensions on this channel before, but all the extensions that I bought before were the clip in kind. And, um, it's hard to make those, it's hard to make those clips not obvious because I know you can put them under hair and stuff, but then it's kind of, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like the best way to do it. So then I, of course, found these ones that are, um, well, this style. I don't know what this is called. I don't, I'm not any kind of an expert, but they're little, it's almost like the ends of these are like the ends of shoelaces. So like, like these is what the ends of these feel like. And there's 10 in each of these. And I got two purples and I actually got two blues, but I don't, I seem to be missing one of the blues. Um, so the two purples and the two blues came in a set together for 381. And then I also got a single set of bright pink um, which has 10 and it was a dollar 34 but gave me 15 cents back so then of course to use these there's no clip so how do you do that well I don't know I'm learning but I found these clips oh, I don't they're not probably clips bands I don't know so I got these in the um, beige and there's 200 of them. So for my kids that are blonde, I would use this for them. But I think the idea is that you lift up some hair and then you take one of these extension pieces and you connect it to their hair and you slip the band on and then you crimp it and then it stays. I think, I think that's how it works, but I need to watch a YouTube video before I do this. But um, so this, this set of bands was a dollar 79 and this comes in black and brown and, um, red maybe for diff you know, for diff people with different color hair and these extensions come in all different colors, but they're all, at least these were all bright colors. It's not like there were blonde extensions in this set, but I bet you can find blonde extensions. But I got a kit um, to go with it. So, and I got it in the darker brown because one of my daughters has hair more like this color and me. So I got that and there's 200 of those in there. And then this little tool, which I'm guessing helps you put the bands on. Ooh, it's kind of embarrassing. I have no idea. Like I said, I got to watch a video. Um, so some of you may be yelling at me in the screen, <laughs> trying to tell me what they are. And then I think there's just pliers left in here. If I can get them out. Okay, so these kind of look like jewelry. Oh, hold on. There's something else. Let me get the something else out first. How hard is it to get something out of a bag? Why isn't she just cutting the bag? That would be smart, wouldn't it? I guess I'm going to make sure everything... Oh, it's a hook, so it's caught on the bag. All right, well, let's be smart and open the bottom of the bag since I'm not gonna use this again. All right, oh, it's it's kind of like a crochet hook. Oh, 
Yep, so it's got that. And then it's got the pliers. Ew. And these pliers have some kind of oil on them. But yeah, I've got, I've actually got some like this in my jewelry kit, jewelry making kit. So, anywho, and they're, they're like teeth, not teeth, but ridges, ridges on the inside that I can't get to display. So anyway, that will be a fun thing. We probably won't do this until it's getting closer to um, Halloween, but I told him I would try to learn how to do it. And, and I figured this lasts longer than the well, this sounds silly. Lasts longer than the clip ones. Obviously, you take the clip ones out whenever you want. Um, and maybe one of these tools helps get the bands off when you're ready to take them off. I don't know. All the things you have to learn when you're the mother of girls. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the wheel ruts of my plastic carpet protector. Ugh. So... Um, although my son really would like to have some green ones, in which case I would have to cut them to Matt because he, he's got longer hair, but not that long. Okay. So the extension kit was $449. And then let me make sure I got everything on here and I didn't miss anything. Okay. So that was it for the Timu haul. I brought some diamond painting stuff so that you don't think I just collect them and don't ever do anything with them, although I'm not doing anything right now. But I did this um, oh, three piece set um, that all goes together. So This goes on the other side, but it's a scene. It's an African elephant scene. So you can see how those, the pink up at the top, they go together. And um, so the idea is I'm going to put this in my living room and I've got those magnetic um, hangers because it's hard to find frames for diamond paintings and if you've never done diamond paintings, or if you do, you'll know that they come with sides, but the sides have the key for how to paint it. Um, and so it's just hard to find ways to frame it. So this is how I've chosen to frame it. And then here's the other one. So they all go together. But yeah, so I was pr proud of completing this set because it does take time um, to get these done. But yeah, I really liked the elephant. But you can see, you can see like I'm not perfect by any means in how I, how I get the beads on there. Um, everybody has their own style. Oh, and then I do tape the, um, the key to the back just in case. A bead falls off. I've never had that happen, but I'm also still relatively new at diamond painting. But I, I save all the extra beads just in case. So I have the key on the back there um, in case I ever need to replace one. But but yeah, so that was my little show and tell. And is there anything else I wanted to tell you guys? I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. So help me out. <laughs> but um, thank you already to the ones who did subscribe because I never I mean I'm doing this for fun I'm I am not professional I'm never gonna be I'm always gonna be an amateur um but I like spending time talking to you guys even though I don't know who any of you are except for the people those of you that have your own channel that I watch but um but yeah so thanks um check out the description below like I said for the links and the codes and the game stuff and all of that and I don't know when I'll get to record another one, but I've got two more, two videos that are already scheduled to air, my lost video series. And then I will have the two that I filmed today that I'll be able to schedule to 
show after those. So thank you so much for watching. If you hung out, um, if you feel like clicking like, thank you. Um, my statistics show that a ton of people watch this channel that haven't subscribed. So if that's you and you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would be awesome. But otherwise, I hope you all have a great rest of your day wherever you are. And for me, it is now 8.40 p.m. on Wednesday night. The fam should be home in the next 20 minutes or so. And then I'll have to catch up on some Timu watching, or not Timu watching, YouTube watching. Um, we've kind of taken to that uh, with the writer strike and none of our favorite shows coming back this fall. We've kind of started making Timu channels our <laughs> favorites. So thanks. We'll talk again soon, I hope. Talk to you later. Bye.